Tesla. This is Tesla California. This is Lion Five Show. I'm Justin Jung, and I'm Samara. Oh, oh. and I'm Samara. We're broadcasting live from Lion Five Show Studio here on campus. So Samara, um, are you gonna be trying out for Shrek the Musical? The yeah. auditions. Oh, yeah. Who are you trying out for? I can't try out for Shrek. Oh. Who else am I gonna try out for? Okay, donkey. Oh, I'm doing that. But stick around to hear about the biggest supernova. <clears throat> also, there's a new video game car. Did you hear about the blizzard in, in <clears throat> back east? Maybe. And did you hear that it's traveling towards us? Maybe we can get a snow day and miss our finals tomorrow. Not. Stay tuned for my weather report. Good luck on your finals. It's the clip. <laughs> it's the Celtics versus the Knicks. Stay tuned for my sports report. We have the scoop on El Chapo. We have that story and a lot more on the other side of the break. Stick around. One water, please. That will be one dollar. Would you like a flavor packet with that? Yes, definitely. Thanks. You're welcome. One year, but please. Finally. Okay, everyone has their test. You may begin. What kind of skills do you have? Uh, I don't really have any skills. Okay. Um, what, what can you do to contribute to this company? Um, nothing really. Uh, I don't think you're fit for this job or any job. <sighs> We're back, Chaji. It's time for the test off play-by-play. Tesla is hosting a fundraiser at Habit Burger on 183rd Street in, Cerrito, in Cerritos, located north of the Cerritos Mall. It will, be on, it will be on next Monday after school. Join the Tesla community at the newest burger restaurant in Cerritos. Bring, bring the flyer and Tesla will receive 20% of the, of the proceeds. For any 8th graders that are interested in trying out for 2016 to 2017 cheer team, there will be a meeting on next Tuesday in in six at six p.m. in the FA in the FAC Artisha High School. P please bring a parent or guardian. Flyers regarding tryouts and uh, yeah. flyers regarding tryouts and the meeting will be in the front office. There will be a meeting for the boys soccer and girls basketball and girls basketball. The meeting will be on Thursday at twelve oh five during lunch. If you have any questions, go to Mr. Mendez. That's it for the play-by-play -play at Tesla. We'll be right back after the break. Okay, class pop quiz. Oh, this is easy. Oh man, I have no confidence. I'm gonna ace this test. I wish it was like the dance video that we shot yesterday when it had all that confidence. Tesla of California. Tesla of California. Tesla of California. Tesla of California. But you can't study like me. Can't read the textbook like me. Can't boat dance like me. Can't hit the Carlton like me. Hey, bet you can't dump them like me. Can't run the mile like me. Can't ace the test like me. Can't be the best like me. Like, no.
特斯拉普现在有一个中文俱乐部。What Andre just said is we have a new Mandarin club at Tesla. 我们常常会在星期二和星期三在五站遇到二零五房间里聊天。What Mr. Porter just said is that we meet on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at lunch, mainly for casual conversation. 知道或不知道语言的，我们都欢迎。All are welcome to attend, whether you know the language or just want to learn. 我们计划有乐趣而普通话改善。We plan to have fun while improving in Mandarin. 下次见。See you there. Oh, the huge snowstorms on the coast east are causing car accidents and canceled flights for thousands of people. The snow and ice froze over the roads and highways, leaving people the choice to either stay and wait hours in traffic or to leave their cars behind. Washington D.C. is expected to be hit with 30 inches of snow, which has even Obama almost slipping as he exits an airplane in D.C. Thousands of residents in North Carolina are facing a short power outage during this time. There is expected to be more blackouts and more snow during this time period. Almost all of the schools in Detroit were closed last Wednesday because of the school's conditions. Obama went to Detroit on the same day to see the North American International Auto Show, but the teachers in Detroit aren't too happy about their school safety status. Teachers are protesting about environmental hazards in schools by calling in sick and by calling in sick in large groups. Of course, most of them aren't really actually sick, but they're sick of how treat un how untreated and unprepared <clears throat> and unrepaired. Detroit schools are. The schools deplor deplorable states are a contrast to the luxury automobile event. Fortunately for the protesters, the Republican governor of Michigan, Rick Snyder, is siding with protesters. The governor wishes to see the current conditions of the schools to improve. The protesters won't stop until the school crisis is solved. Jokin Guzman, also known as El Chapo, was arrested on January 8th. Both the U.S. and Mexico were after him. Last year, El Chapo escaped from a maximum security prison. He was the most wanted person in Mexico. Mexico is trying to get El Chapo to a U.S. prison. Experts say that it could be over a year before they can. Time now to check in with David on today's entertainment report. Good morning, David. Good morning, Justin. That was some pretty crazy news about El Chapo. So. Uh, yesterday's basketball and soccer game went well. We won, so that's good. Good job, that's all. Um, entertainment news today is on uh, January 14th was an unforgettable day for Harry Potter fans. Alan Rickman was a famous British actor who played Professor Severus Snape in Harry Potter and Hans Grubber in Die Hard. He passed away at the age of 69 because of cancer. According to his representatives, before his debut, he had he had been in Hollywood and didn't see any perks of taking the role. If he had missed the opportunity, fans would have missed the memorable lines of this amazing actor. After he took the job, fans thought he knew all about the series, which he didn't. Later, he finally understood finally understood why J.K. Rowling chose him. Rickman sent her a little thanking for her, her for the opportunity. Even though he was great, he didn't get nominated for the Oscars. However, he did win a BAFTA award and was nominated for three other times. He also won a Golden Globe in 1997. Fans will still remember him as the stunning villain who played the best role. Let's see what's going on in the world of weather. Good morning, Victoria. It's time for your earthquake update. This morning in Riverside, there was a 2.5 earthquake this morning. And also in Moreno Valley, there was a 2.7 earthquake this morning. Also, this morning in Alaska, there was a 2.5 earthquake. Today's pollen index will be an 8.0. Moving through the week, our high will be an 8.3 this Friday. Here in Los Angeles, it's very sunny today. No chance of snow here from the back east. Up in the north, it will be partly sunny at in the Midwest, partly sunny also. In the east, all throughout the east, they will be getting a chance of <clears throat> rain. Down, but down near Florida, it, they might not get some rain, though it will be partly sunny. Down in the south, partly sunny also. 
Here in Los Angeles, our high will be 71 today. Moving up to the north, our, they'll be looking at low 40 and high 20s. In the east, low 40s and down in the south, high, high, oh my goodness, high 40s to high 50s. Time for our five day forecast. Today's high will be 65 and our low will be 47. Moving through the week, our high will be a 69 on Thursday. Oh, Gavin, Darren, I can't see who else is in the pic. Oh, Josh is in the. Oh, band goals. Good job, guys. That's so cool. <laughs> Don't forget to send us your birthday pics and your social pics. Simply direct message us on Instagram at tetzlofca. It's now time to check out Jace with the Daily Web Poll. Good morning, Jace. Oh. Good morning, Victoria. Today we're on the Skype cam in Miss Walter's class, and we have Alan and Justin with us. Say hi, everyone. Hi. 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 Sorry, Jonathan. I said Justin. So, guys, you excited? For you excited for finals? No. Wow. <laughs> Would, Jonathan, would you mind reading this week's poll for us? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, should Tetzloff open up the passage weight gates? Here's what some of you guys said. Yes. yes, because getting to class would take less time and be a lot easier. And another student said, no, because people might do things while walking there that teachers cannot see. What? <laughs> okay, that's true, that's true, very true. If you guys want to vote and hear your opinions on the air, send me direct my suggest on Instagram at TetzlaffTA. So, would any of you, would one of you like to answer? Would you like to pass away gates No, no they shouldn't. <laughs> no, they shouldn't. <laughs> you know how much, there, there, there's so much stuff happening in there. Yeah, that's why they're closed in the first yeah. place. <laughs> yeah, I think they should, so people who get to places faster. Okay, well that's it for the Skype cam and the daily web poll. <laughs> Let's go check out Sports with Raj, good morning. Uh, good morning, everybody. I'm Arash Bailey, and this is your sports news. On Sunday, the Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nets beat the Oklahoma City Thunders 116 to 106. Kevin Durant and and Brook Lopez, may <laughs> Brook Lopez, Brooklyn, uh, yeah, you get it. Nah, never mind. Uh, make the most points. Durant, Durant going 32, 32 points for the Thunders, and Lopez scoring 31 points for the Nets. The most rebounds were made by Russell R Westbrook, and that is Young. Westbrook, uh, Westbrook, Westbrook re made the rules rebounds at 11 f for uh, the Oklahoma, and Young caught the ball 14 times for the Brooklyn's. On, su on Sunday, the Boston Celtics beat the Philadelphia 76ers 112-92. Isaiah Thomas and Robert Covington scored the most points. Thomas going 20 points for the Celtics, and Coving Covington made made 25 points for the 76ers. The most rebounds were made by Amir Johnson and Nerland Noel. Or, no. Uh, Johnson rebounded t 12 times for the for the Boston and Noel received uh, 9 rebounds for the Philadelphia. Well, that's all. Yeah, that's all. that's so that wraps it up for sports today. Time to check out the daily 401 with uh, Justin. Good morning. You, Rosh. Who is the richest person in America and, po and possibly the world? Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Carlos Slim, or L Lillian Benin Benton Court? Take five. Carlos Slim is considered the richest man passing Bill Gates. Time check in with Samara. Woo! Okay. Astronomers may have found the best thing about space. They found a supernova, the brightest and biggest ever discovered. According to the Ohio, the Ohio State University, the explosion was 570 billion times brighter than the sun and 20 times brighter than all of the stars of the Milky Way. This new discovery was named ASA SSN 15LH. 
After the crew who found it, after the crew who found it. Usually supernovas are rare and are brighter for a shorter for, for a short time. However, this one broke even the best records. The reaction also created a big ball of hot gas which cannot be seen make it out because it is 3.8 billion light years from Earth. Astronomers still doubt wh whether it was it really was a supernova that created the explosion. Telescope, they may find out if their theory is true. Ohio State claims that if they're wrong, it may just unusual nuclear activity around a supermassive black hole. That wraps up our show for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have an excellent day.